Nothing fancy here with an update on my Pika 2 knife. I call it the Pinkachu knife, just like I did in my review of it. You'll see the review off to the side or above. Probably will be very close to this video once I label it. Now, I leveled several criticisms against this blade, things I did not like about it. Uh, slow deploying, uh, the retention is a little bit tight, makes it hard to deploy. A couple other things like the lock back protrudes too far. Most of them pretty minor. One of them that was not minor was this jimping that runs along the back spine of the Benchmade Pikachu knife. Pikachu. <laughs> I just can't help but say that. Anyways, this jimping right here is non-functional. And I mentioned that in my review. In other words, it's nice to have it, but they didn't make it sharp enough. Well, you know what? I just grabbed this and I got sick of it. And I went downstairs just a minute ago and I modified it. And I'm going to show you what I did. So this is an update to my Benchmade Pika 2 review. That's the new jimping on the spine of the blade that I just created with my Dremel tool. And you can do it too with your knives. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This is a tool and the wheel I'm using. It's a very thin cutoff wheel on my tried and true Dremel. And then I just freehanded it. What I did is held the blade securely with leather gloves and... Let me get a focus here, and I just ran it. I went a cut, little bit too deep on some of the grooves. You can see it wasn't exactly right. And then I just cut those grooves deeper. That was step one. Now step two, once I cut those grooves uh, deeper, is I sanded them. I took some, I think this is like 400 weight automotive sandpaper, and I wrapped it in a block of wood, and then I sanded the top. The reason I had to do that is because Benchmade profiles um, the jimping here. They're at, you can't let's see if I can get this thing to focus. They're actually rounded right through here. And so by sanding them down, what I do is reveal sharper corners. And that's what I did right here. Okay, so let me get this sandpaper. It'll focus against that pretty good. Okay, that works. See that? So now I have flats on top of my jimping. That's what makes good jimping. Now, granted, my workmanship probably leaves a little bit to be desired, but on an inexpensive knife like this, I really didn't want to spend all night on it. I got a lot of other projects in the, in the fire right now. But I will tell you that as it turned out, that jimping rocks. It, on the upper spine, I mean, it's not the prettiest from above, but it's very functional, and for an affordable knife like this, it's a nice mod that makes it so much more useful might want to try it out if you have knives that have jimping that may be not so functional. Just cut it a little deeper with your very thin cutoff wheel of your Dremel. Sand away, baby. And that's what you'll end up with. This is Nothing Fancy with a quick addendum video to my Pika 2 review. See ya.